morning. I'm going to try an experiment today. I have this completely frozen croissant, sausage, egg, and cheese. And I'm going to be going to work. It's 7.40 right now. I have to be at work at 8. I'm going to leave this in the car and see if it cooks it. It's so hot, I believe it will cook it. So I'll let you know in a few hours. It's 8.02, and I'm going to go ahead and set this on the dashboard right there. Good morning. This is Teresa M, a.k.a. 50 Plus 2013. Today is a vlog. I have bad news. I've had the plant for a good seven or eight days and she does not like my apartment. I'm gonna be returning her. I'm out early this morning, headed to Walmart. Walmart by Hobby Lobby and also by Trader Joe's because um, I was gonna go in Trader Joe's and look at some food items that I've been seeing hauls on that I want to try but all in all this is August and this is an absolute no buy save money month you might say why am I going to Hobby Lobby because I don't have a Hobby Lobby in my town and I'm gonna try to look at some things I have been planning on crafting a couple of things I do have a lot of art supplies so with that in mind, I feel like I'm going to look to see if I can get some motivation from Hobby Lobby. Here's Hobby Lobby. And there's Walmart. That's how close they are. And then the opposite side of the street, there is Trader Joe's. That is the plan for this month. And of course, I've been watching videos to keep myself motivated on not buying things so videos like seven things you don't need five things you don't need you do need and seven reasons not to buy five reasons not to buy this all these type of scenarios i'm actually excited to save get um out of the habit of just buying stuff out of boredom for lack of a better word boredom so i'm at walmart and i'm gonna go ahead and take my new plant and i'm so i'm i don't know what to do i there is one plant that works with me so i guess i'm gonna have to keep that plant in mind and buy that one. And Hobby Lobby. It's definitely a place you can get inspired by. I don't know where anything else is. I need a little furry pet. Either they don't have any or they're hiding. Oh well. I'm gonna just head straight home. 
like a but I did not realize there's a Burger King right in this area where I'm shopping. So I think I'll go ahead and see if they have the chicken nuggets. Hello. Okay. Do you still have the dollar chicken nuggets? Yes, I do. Can I have two of those? Um, regular, not spicy. A dollar frozen Fanta? Thank you. Y'all, I'm telling you, these chicken nuggets are so good, I can't even help it. They are only a dollar. And you get sauce with it or what have you. They didn't offer me sauce this time, but it's okay. I don't eat it anyways. But they are so good. This joint, this it's an icy slushy. It's only a dollar also. And then they have little dollar ice creams as well. I don't know. If you try chicken nuggets from Burger King in your place and they're only a dollar, they're worth it. Let me know what you think. I returned the plant. When I went in Hobby Lobby, I got this picture. There's three pictures in one. This picture was originally $69.99 and I got it for $17.50. To go over there over the couch good morning today is the start of a new vlog so today i'm making grits and some iced coffee i really don't want to eat because i'm not really a morning type of eating breakfast person i'd rather just drink coffee but i feel like i've just been having coffee every day multiple times a day just because it's hot and I decided, let me just eat some food first thing in the morning. And I decided to go ahead and show you what I'm having. I'm having the instant grits. So right here, I'm heating up the water for that. And how I do the iced coffee is with ice cream and the things you see here. As far as the coffee goes, I just get some of the freeze-dried coffee. And I put it inside of the bottom of the the glass here and you see how it's I just eyeball it basically and then I just get some hot water just to melt it or dissolve it I should say and once that's dissolved just make sure it's all dissolved And there you have the strong, better part of the coffee. And then after it's all dissolved, I'll go ahead and some cold water to it. And I just eyeball everything. I really like the strong taste of the coffee. So I try to keep it like really where I can taste the strength of the coffee. And then I'll just get some ice cubes and put them in there. And I don't know why I put ice cubes in first versus the creamer. The ice also um, serves as the part that will dilute the coffee also. And then I'll put any type of sweet creamer in there. And it looks like a lot of creamer and it probably is, but it tastes delicious. And you just get a straw of some sort, stir it up, and there you have your beautiful looking iced coffee. And not only is it good, but presentation wise, it's good. And this has been my favorite thing to do probably since uh, going on a few weeks now. And give it a little taste and it's perfect. I'm really not an expert with the grits because as far as the grits go, I normally cook the grits. I've never really used the instant, instant grits until somebody came over with it or I was eating it somewhere. And so the grits here, they're delicious. And it's very much a time saver. It may look like a lot, but I have this little bowl. So um, the bowl is like deceiving. So basically I eyeball the water to it too. It gives you the measurements on the grits, but I still eyeball it. So 
So I just stir it around usually and then sit a plate or something on top of it for it to kind of heat and cook. Oh, and then I think I add salt and pepper on it too because with pepper on grits. So I like the way that look. I'm putting it off to buy pepper. So I just like the way pepper, and I'm gonna give it a little salt shake because just to help beef up that flavor. And then I put this junk away and then my food is ready. So here you have the breakfast that I'm having. I'm not much of a breakfast person. So I'm here in Michael's looking for things for my daughter's wedding and I just want to show you this flower section. So pretty. And look at this clear, clear light crystal um, plant situation. Today is another day. It is quite hot. I'm going to go ahead and see what it's like to open it up and eat it. It's really, really hot to the touch. All right, so I don't know if you can see steam coming out, but the cheese is completely melted. I just asked Suri what the temperature is, and it's 106 degrees right now. I had it sitting in this little cup holder right here, and it's full of water from the sweat. 